Our exhibition is called The Physics of Culture and we have chosen that title because for us architects are both scientists and also designers or inventors. So for us the physics of culture was first of all to look at a country, at a place that we had never built in before, to look at Lima in Peru. The project, this was a competition. We did a competition for a university called UTEC. And for us, the issue was how to build in this particular uh, climate, in this uh, particular place. If you like, for us, we looked at a vertical campus. We chose to build a building that had only the rooms that had to have an interior air conditioning with that and the rest of the building is external. Because there's only nine millimeters of rain, there is no need for insulation and no need for waterproofing. As a result, what we said is, can we make an arena for learning? Can we make a vertical uh, campus? Can we use the natural resources of this perfect climate to make a university that is really a, a social space, it's like a cathedral for learning, and the ocean breeze keeps the building, uh, the spaces cool, and because the sun is 12 degrees down from the equator, we have corbelled the section to protect students from the direct sun, and we've used the roofscapes of the uh, spaces to become gardens, like in Machu Picchu or in Lake Titicaca. But for us, for us in Grafton Architects, when we take a project, we try and find the cultural component. What is the specific character of each place? And we've presented our Lima project in this exhibition because it was, it is a front for us in terms of sustainability. How can we make a building where as much as possible enjoys the pleasure of the unique climate of Lima? To keep the resources as minimum as possible, but also to emphasize the cultural possibilities of indoor-outdoor.